Welcome back to Escape Me and Watch. Falling Titan here. Today, the Ors Aquis Limited Edition. The Whale Shark. Yes, the Whale Shark. And I remember from Seinfeld that the whale is a majestic mammal. Well, mm. this one is a fish. This one's a fish? Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, let's do this again where I say fish. No, we're running out of time. Let's go. Fine. Let's check it out. Okay, thanks to Kavar Jewelers for lending this into the channel. And if you want to buy this watch, email me in the description below and I'll give you a discount code. There it is, Whale Shark Limited Edition. 154, that's the number out of 2016. So a nice low number, very cool. So we have the manual down at the bottom. And let's check out the watch. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Whale Shark Limited Edition, one of 2016. There we go. Ooh. All right. Very nice. Oh man. I love the Aquis. Yup. Feels so high quality. This is awesome. All right, let me remove the box and we'll get into it. We're back. Introducing the Oris Aquis GMT Limited Edition Whale Shark. Look at that. What a stunner. What do you guys think of this unique limited edition? This one has the traditional Aquas case, which looks like a kettle and the integrated bracelet, one with the case, basically makes the watch wear a lot smaller than its size would indicate. So beautiful, iconic Aquas case. I love the crown guards, how they look like they were attached afterwards, very industrial with those two screws. I love this case. From a mile away, you can see that's an Aquas. So Oris has that amazing, unique look that is purely Oris, and that's a cool thing. It's just like a sub. You see a sub from a mile away, you know it's a sub. You see a Willard from a mile away, you know it's a Willard. G-Shock as well. Now the movement. Oris 798 GMT based on the Solita SW330-1. 288 VPH 25 joules hack hand wine 42 hours power reserve GMT function and date at three o'clock. So excellent movement, proven, and it winds very smooth. It is amazing. Screw down crown, 300 meters water resist, signed crown. I'm a fan of this. This watch, has a positive impression of quality to it. When you hold it in your hand, you feel like you're holding quality. And basically all Orises have that feel, but the Aquas to the next level. Now the bracelet all polished on the sides and brushed in the mid links. Awesome. This one doesn't have the quick release like the new 400 caliber, but it does have a signed clasp, all milled. This is screw links, solid, and it has a dive extension with three micro adjusts. Very nice sound and clicks. The case back is cool, let's check it out. It has the whale on there and there's a little plaque at the bottom with your number. So this one is number 154 out of 2016. And there's there you can see the name, Whale Shark Limited Edition. Liking that a lot. Now the bezel and bezel insert, we have black for the night blue for the daytime hours, bi-directional, and the little pip at 12 does light up. It is loomed. So you have a 24 hour register on that bezel. It is ceramic and another 24 hour on the inner ring where the little GMT hand points. 
Now this one has a beautiful domed sapphire crystal, double dome because there's no distortion, that amazing whale skin dial. It's a stunner. I love the indices and the hands on the ore sockets. It reminds me of a robot, a robot's hands and fingernails for the indices. Then the 12 o'clock is a little bit thicker and a little bit bigger than the rest, which are just the same size throughout. And they taper off at the end of the fingernail and they look fantastic. The GMT hand is looks like it's loomed, but it probably isn't. I reviewed one of these Aorus GMTs earlier, but the video did not go live yet. This one will probably beat it and it wasn't loomed. I hope they loomed it this time. We're gonna see when we do the loom shot at the end. Now the price, this one, 3,200 USD. So definitely in the entry level luxury market and it feels like luxury. It's a premium feeling watch. And a little bit of that money, we don't know how much, is gonna go to saving the whale shark. So you're doing a good thing, good cause, and you're getting a beautiful timepiece. That's a win-win in my book. Now let's compare it with I don't have anything on hand except for the new Intramatic, which I'm a huge fan of. 40 mil right there. Look at the size difference. <laughs> this is a nice two piece collection. Beautiful dress watch and a diver GMT style watch. There you go. A little bit of a comparison. I don't know how many people have that watch. It's too new, but there you go. Now the measurements, 43.5 millimeters in diameter, 13.2 thick and 49.9 lug to lug. But again, these lugs are part of the bracelet. So it's going to wear not like a 49 0.9 millimeter lug to lug would wear. Here it is on my six and a half inch wrist. Look at that beautiful dial, that whale skin. It looks amazing. And I can actually pull it off at six and a half, even though it's a 43 and a half watch. That's because of that integrated bracelet. And at 13 thickness, it's not bad. It has tons of wrist presence. It looks like you have a professional piece of kit on your wrist. This is a stunning watch. I'm a big fan of the Aquas line, as you can tell. Let's check out the weight. One hundred and eighty three grams. That's a heavy one, but that's with no links removed. It does feel hefty, it does feel quality. A lot of people associate weight with quality and that's what this feels like. All right, let's check it out on the time grapher. Okay, so you can hear that medium beat 288 VPH. We got zero beat error, a strong amplitude of 315. That's amazing. 13 seconds a day, now eight seconds a day. Let's always ignore that first number. It's always a little bit off because I guess the time grapher is getting its bearings. Now we have eight seconds again, eight seconds again. So I know they do regulate these, but I don't know to what degree they're not cost certified, but there we go. Eight, 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 eight. Solid, no snowflakes, no beat error, and a strong amplitude. So it's an excellent movement from Salida and Oris. And now seven and then seven. So we had tons of eights and now two sevens. So not quite as good as cost, but definitely uh, pretty good. All right, let's leave it. 777, seven, seven. let's go two more rounds, six, and the final round is what we're gonna call it, super strong amplitude still at 303, plus six seconds. Well done, Oris. Okay, there's the loom, Swiss Super Luminova. It looks slightly green in real life, but blue on the camera. Still blue, but a little bit of green in there in real life, don't know why. And there you can see the pip on 
the insert. So excellent loom, nothing to complain about. Here it is under some half lighting and look at that stunning aqua or teal, greenish blue dial. The whale skin texture is a beauty. You guys can see it right now. It looks amazing. And that's the special feature of this watch is that stunning dial. It's a nice look. That texture just adds a little bit more to the Aquas line. And it looks fantastic. I would like to see this amazing dial on a 400 caliber non-GMT. That would be sweet. And then I'd be ultra tempted. Man, so if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.